Hey friends, I'm April, and for today's Making a Day Crochet Project, we are making coasters. Today's projects are these easy cotton coasters that you can make in a day. I love these because they are super absorbent of condensation, and I don't have that problem where they stick to the bottom of my glass and then they fall and crash on my keyboard during a Zoom call, and then everyone looks at me for disrupting the Zoom call because my microphone should have been muted. What were we talking about? Uh, added bonus to cotton coasters, they are super easy to clean. You just throw them in the washing machine after you spill your iced coffee all over them like I do on a daily basis. Before you get down to making your coasters, this project does specifically call for cotton yarn because of its durability and its absorbent qualities. It really makes a great coaster. Because of that, I can't recommend any other type of yarn for this project. Before we get started, please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Also, if you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, which I hope you do, but if you don't like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. However you're feeling today. All righty, let's get started. Here's everything you're going to need to make these cotton coasters. For this project, you'll need cotton yarn, a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle, and especially if you're new to crochet, I recommend a stitch marker. Start out the project with a magic circle. Wrap your yarn around your hand and form an X on the top of your hand. Insert your hook under the right side of the X and then hook the left side and pull it under the right. Then twist your hook, insert it under the left side of the X again and pull that through. Now you'll have a circle that if you pull on the tail, you can adjust the size. For round one, you're going to chain one and then single crochet one and then seven more times. You're gonna have a total of eight single crochets worked into your magic circle. Once you've worked in your eight single crochets, you're gonna pull on the loose tail to close the circle and then insert your hook into the first stitch that you created and slip stitch to join the beginning to the end. For round two, you're going to chain one and now you're going to single crochet into the same stitch where you're coming out of. It can be a little hard to see in working in the round. That's why I like to mark my stitch with a stitch marker. In the next stitch, you're going to work two single crochets, and that's gonna be the pattern. You're going to work one single crochet in one stitch, followed by two single crochets. Do this all the way around. We will not be working into that stitch. We've already done that in the beginning. I like to count my stitches before I join the beginning and the end of my round. For round two, you're gonna have a total of 12 stitches, and it's easier to see with that stitch marker. Join the beginning and the end of your round with a slip stitch, chain one, and continue with the same pattern from row two. That'll be one single crochet, followed by two single crochets in the next stitch, all the way around. Continue in that pattern until you have a total of seven rounds. Next, we're gonna do a round of bobbles. Start out by chaining one and single crocheting into that same stitch, just like before. The next stitch is going to be a bobble. To make a bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook and then pull through the first two loops on your hook. From there, you're gonna yarn over again, insert your hook and pull through two. Do this three more times or until you have a total of six loops on your hook. Once you're done, you're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook. Then insert your hook in the next stitch and work a single crochet. Continue working the pattern of bobble stitch, single crochet, all the way around. In the last stitch of the row, you're going to work an additional single crochet, just because that's how math works. And then to finish it off, you're going to join your beginning to your end with a slip stitch. These are so great and durable. You can throw them in the wash if you get them dirty. They make great last minute gifts. Ah, I love them. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoy making and using these cotton coasters. Until we meet again, please stay safe, wash your hands, and happy crocheting.